and check your emails whilst you're there. Don't check them like I did in the car after you leave to go home. I could have got two, yes, two free macarons. Flavour of my choice. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like I haven't filmed in ages. I don't think it's been quite that long, but life's been a little sporadic. Anyway, I've had the whole week off. I know, plenty of time to film, but I've been busy. Had a spa break away with mum, and today, my husband and I went to Vista Village. It's probably about a two hour drive from where we are, so it's doable. Um, dog was in daycare, so we literally dropped him off, whizzed there. We were only there about three hours, so I didn't film whilst I was there, sorry, but it literally was a mad rush. But I got a few bits that I wanted to. So these were sort of, sort of planned. Sort of planned, but not without being too sure what stock was going to be like. Vista Village can be very hit and miss. My first hint, if you go, um, sign up to the loyalty scheme and check your emails whilst you're there. Don't check them like I did in the car after you leave to go home. Because quite often if you buy anything and you scan, you get a little treat. So for example, I could have got two, yes, two free macarons. Flavour of my choice. Um, and I did not, because I saw that in the cars we left. So, that's my tip of the day. You're probably away from you going, yeah, we know that, Joe, you idiot. You're like the only person that doesn't. But anyway, I'm going to unbox with you what I got. It's not going to take long. I got three things. Um, like I said, I didn't have that much time. It would have been nice if I looked a bit more at some clothing. <laughs> Tried on the most gorgeous Burberry dress. But it's a size four. And yes, it went on and it did up, okay? But it was a little tight on the shoulders and across the chest. So I didn't get it. But it was really beautiful, black cotton, stunning little shirt dress. Stunning. But anyway, I don't need it. It's fine. Right. This is practical. Long shop. So I wanted to look at getting a... Uh, a pliage, a pliage big travel holdall. I have a the large shopper, I have the little backpack and graphite and I use them quite a lot. They're very good handy bags. I like that they're carefree, I like that they're lightweight, I like that I can fold and flap for storage because I don't have a lot of storage in this small house. So that is absolutely brilliant. So that's what I went to look at. Now, the classic pliage range isn't, in, isn't discounted at Vista Village, but some of the other stuff is. Um, but actually what I got, I got because it was the size that I wanted. So let me get it out and show you. So it was cheaper than the standard pliage range, and I got oh so much more. Sorry, moving is pain. I did an exercise class yesterday. Um, and I've done over two days many squats and lunges, many squats and lunges. My body's gone, what the hell is this? And um, I'm struggling to walk, sit on the loo. Stairs are really not my friend. Um, even like taking my jacket off, my art, like literally everything. My body's gone into shock, I think, as to um, not being sat down in front of a work laptop and actually doing something physical. Um, anyway. So, yeah, I was trying to see what the original price was. Yes, here we go. So I'll let you know the original price. This was £295 originally, and I got it for £195. So, you know, I got a third off. And that's that. But here it is. It's big. It's big. But I liked... I don't think this was like... Oh, so it was like on the men's side of the store. You can see how big it is. Now the, the size at the bottom, so the width at the bottom, like this sitting is not my friend, is 55 centimetres. And it does, as you can see, widen out towards 
the top. Now this on here, you see it's got some writing. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's French. It's by Longchamp, of course it's French. Cocagne, cocaine? Anyway, it means, um, I think like plentiful land, something like that. Um, which I thought was quite apt given how much I can fit in this. So it's got this lovely, like caramel, caramel colour main canvas with navy leather trim. And it has on the back, we've got, if you're using it with a wheelie suitcase, you could put the handle, as long as it's not too thick, the handle up to the middle and have this on top of your case. It has a zip pocket on the back, which is sort of split into, it goes down to, yeah, it goes all the way down to there, and we'll come on to this section in a bit. It goes all the way down to there, but it's split into three sections. So I guess it's quite handy if you want to pop things in there. And then the front pocket. Is, is that the same? No, the front pocket is split into two and the stitching goes all the way down there. So that's what's on the outside. The hardware, I'm going to take this to see I'm keeping it, so obviously I didn't buy it, why would I buy it if I wasn't going to keep it? You can see better there the navy leather handle, which are really nice and soft and comfy. It's got a hook on the end here. Let's take this off because this is bothering me. Okay, not the easiest. It has a detachable. It does have this detachable canvas strap. And the hardware on this bag you can see it's like a black so I mean as ever I'm filming in natural there you go I'm filming in natural light and the sun's coming in but I'm never going to diss the sun welcome sun welcome it's nice to see you it rained quite a lot in this today I was going to use a really nice Hermes bag just because it's an excuse to use them I was going to use my constants and saw the weather forecast and took out the the Louis <laughs> Rain is forecast, Louis Vuitton canvas comes out. So yeah, so that's the strap. I'm gonna guess it's about an 85 centimetre. It's not that long a strap, but that's fine because I'm not that long a person. So <laughs> that is the extent of the strap, which is, if I do it, yeah, so it's probably about a, yeah, it's probably about an 85 strap. And then inside the bag, we unzip the black hardware. So I'm sure it looked dark, the one she showed me in the store. Anyway, inside the bag, it's a big white hole, but as you can see, it's completely waterproof. This is waterproof material. You know, it's not the plushiest, but I wanted something basically that was just going to be big and sturdy. I wanted this as a travel bag. Now, you may have noticed this double zip bit here. This is basically the extendable section. So this does somehow do up. God knows how, and um, it's a zip. I'm, I'm not that good with zips. This might be a job for the husband. To zip the bag up. But I'll, I'll give it a quick go. But yes, yeah, so it means you can, you know, have it obviously in the smaller setting, or if you want to, you can have it on the large setting, which this is. Okay, 
So the secret to doing something on camera is obviously turn the camera off and then you can do it. Right, so I started with, I'm sure you get used to it as you, as you uh, do it. So I've started it there and then you can see you just easily zip it up. go quite nicely. And you wouldn't know from the inside that just zips in nicely but it just makes it a bit more of a manageable size particularly for my frame. The other thing I like are the little four leather feet that you get. So yeah really happy with this. I don't know if I'll try and get a base shape or not. I mean the whole idea for this is for it to be lightweight so I don't really want to be buying stuff to make it heavier. Let me pop the strap on. It goes on a lot easier than it came off and um, I will show you some mod shots on these. Obviously it's empty. Um, so it's not going to look amazing, but I'll show you nonetheless. Uh, I just wanted something, like I say, practical, and also it's my name, I think the husband can share it. Right, hold on one moment. Is the long shot bag I got. Right, moving on. I went to Calvin Klein underwear because I wanted some underwear. Um, now, don't panic, I'm not going to model. <laughs> You're alright. But I'll show you quickly. Again, this is like similar tone to um, a Mez Blue Jean. And I don't mean to, I just keep gravitating towards this colour. Uh, but all of this was basically half price. So I got this whole set I'm going to show you for £50, but you can see there it's got this nice lacy bits. You've got a part covered, it's just covered, it's not padded, it's like that thin padding if that makes sense. Part covered, cup and then lace. And to go with that I got, I went for size small, I used to be extra small but I just went for small. They look enormous but anyway, they won't be when they're on I'm sure. These nice, but they're these nice, soft, like seamless ones. They're really nice, soft cotton briefs. And then I went for, as ever, because I do like a thong with jeans, this thong, which again, I went up a size. I went for small because I don't like anything too tight on a thong because you then you get the lines. I don't want a BPL. So yeah, it's a little bit of lace. And then on the back, again, that really nice, soft, like modal cotton. So that's what I got from Calvin Klein. And now we have the most exciting thing. I went into Mulberry. I thought I'd have a look. There was nothing in Fendi that I fancied. But I did fancy getting like a little, a little leather good. So it's come nicely packaged. They were so helpful got me a brand new, it was the last one, a brand new one from out the back. So there was a display one that I saw and tried on and then there was this one at the back. So it comes with a little dust bag, uh, which has been made from, with sustainably sourced cotton. The pull cord has been crafted with 100% recycled materials. So there you go. So Mulberry, England. And then this is going to be a bit of a love or hate bag. My husband hasn't even seen these yet because he went off to do some other bits. 
um, and I wanted to show you guys before I showed him. Bit love or hate, Bestie Lorna will hate. It's not her favourite colour. So this is the Mulberry Tiny Softy in Napa Leather in the colour Lawn Green. So a proper, it's, it's actually a little bit brighter in real life. This is like a proper, proper bright grass green. So it's all been packaged, lovely. It's all this really lovely, soft, squishy leather with, let's take that off, peel off, I can't keep it. Um, silver hardware, which needs a bit of a clean. It feels like it's got slightly tarnished under the stickers, under the sticker. Always take your stickers off, people. Um, so that is that. But it's got its little top handle, so it's super cute. And I just wanted something, I've been after a green bag for ages. For those of you that follow me, you know that I tried on the Potato Veneta cassette bag, not the padded one, the non-padded one, in that green, which is a bird beginning with P. Not parrot. Parkeet? Sorry, perimenopause, this is what happens. Brain dies. Anyway, silver hardware, little top handle, padded green. More protection there, let's take that off. Oh, and out. And then it's got a little tab inside, which makes it like a care booklet. Yeah, that looks like the care booklet there. And then we have this strap, I'll put that aside for now. And then inside you have, it's really soft and malleable, one, two, three little credit card slots there and it says Mulberry. I'm not sure where these are made, probably Turkey I would imagine. Can I see to tell you quickly? No. So no idea where it was made, but like I say, Mark, we do have quite a few bags made in Turkey. This is a, you know, an entry level bag. This isn't their plushies. They had some mini Alexas there, which I also went to look at, um, which ranges in price from like the new season, full price 995. They said there were some for 450, depending on the color, but I didn't see any. Most of them were around the 600, 650 mark. So not bad for the bag you're getting at all. Um, but I just wanted something carefree and fun and not expensive because I'm not shopping. But I'll show you the close up of the hardware there. You can see the little mulberry tree at the top and then it says mulberry there. So it's really cute. It's not a bad representation of colour on camera, but it is slightly brighter in real life, just slightly. Um, so you can see it there. Got, and that's it. Now, it does fit my phone. So, iPhone 15 Pro, regular, not the Max. This is why I don't buy the Max phone. It goes in really easily. Now, yeah, I know it almost feels it, but remember we've got some poofiness as well. So, I reckon I would also get, you can see there if I pull it, you, and I'm not pulling hard at all, You'd get your credit cards in there easily. And I reckon you could slot in like a lipstick or a car key. So this really is, like when I say essentials, this is absolutely running an errand essential. Or if you wanted to, like a little cute little evening bag. I know it's quite an informal style with all this um, downfield leather. But it just, it actually feels really soft and luxurious. And then the strap. So much packaging, but it's nice that it's all been packaged lovely and new, you know. it's There was a couple of marks on the display one. So yeah, so this goes in, it's got this little, so it's again silver hardware chain, it's got this little toggle, a bit like some of, like the original Chanel Trendy had. So it's got this toggle, so that just goes through. 
on one side and then on the other. And there we go, so it's mainly chain and then it's got this small leather section there in again matching green of this lawn green. So I'm going to cut this tag off quickly and then I'll do you some mod shots but like I say I tried it on, it's super super comfy, it's carefree and I just liked the colour, I wanted something fun. And this is really informal, but I probably would get away with wearing this for work as well. So if I've got my big laptop with everything in, and then I just want my pass card, you know, my travel card and my pass card for work on my phone, sorted. So here it is just on the shoulder. Here it is casual, just, I'm casual, I'm just holding it by the handle. I can get, my wrist through it but it's not going to be up in the crook of your arm but it does go you know so high I haven't got massive arms but it I'm not exactly super skinny either it does go there but the main way I'm going to wear this is as you've guessed it cross body so probably not to go with this jumper but it's, it's all right and um, yeah it, for me that's a really nice I mean, I'll do anything from here to, you know, but yeah, I think it looks really nice actually. And it feels so soft and comfy against the body. So there you go. That is everything that I got from Vista Village. This is my favourite. Sorry, I'm not supposed to have favourites. This is my favourite. <laughs> Sorry, completely forgot to tell you. So this is the tiny softy. They had this also available in a little red one, which was super cute, but I just, my heart set on the green. They also had the bigger softies. Now price. These were originally priced at £695. I think it's quite a lot for what it is. However, in Vista Village, at the outlet price, I got this for £195. And I think that's that was part of the appeal for me, that it was going to be... Not used and abused because nothing of mine is, you know, even £10 things are, are looked after carefully. But certainly there's an element of me being a bit more carefree with it, of, of less babying, of less worrying than, you know, £8,500 Hermes bag, right? <laughs> Obviously. Uh, but, and also it gave me a good opportunity to you know, experiment with something like this, which is, you know, it's a bit like the Hermes bamboo, it's, uh, or cactus, it, it, it's that kind of colour. It's more, this is more of a darker green than, say, um, yucca, which Hermes have come out with recently. Um, so yes, £195 from the original 695. The larger ones that were a bit bigger, they didn't have a top handle, they were £250, so not a lot more for a bit more bag. But I just like the look of this on. I put, I tried one of those on. The chain is just a chain on those, a little bit chunkier, but no leather section. And I just didn't like it on so much. So that's why I got this one. But I, I'm so happy with her. I just think she's cute. It is, it is a whole playful thing. Mulberry say that on there. You can't, you can't get them anymore on the Mulberry website. I think they've been discontinued. But if you Google, you can see where they talk about it, if that makes some sort of sense. And basically what they do say is that it's a playful new collection. Obviously it's not new anymore. Um, so you've got the softy, the little softy, the big softy. Obviously there is also the tiny softy. Uh, curved quilting, smooth leather and a soft pillowy feel, they're made to be touched and they are, these are such tactile bags, uh, I promise you if you do splash out and get one, they are so tactile, you just want to hug it. Um, so yeah, so they're created from environmentally accredited Nappa leather, recycled nylon lining and responsibly sourced feathers and down. Um, there is also, this isn't a care card, that there is a lining 
to try and stop the, on the insides, try and stop the down from coming out, but over time it might do. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's my, it's my new bag. I really am going now, but I, in my excitement, I forgot to tell you the information that I planned on telling you, so apologies. Um, check out Mr Village, Cheshire Oaks, Shepton Mallet, uh, and see what little bargains you can get. I would say that from what I saw in Mr Village today, Mulberry was the best bargains. Everything else was kind of 20-30% off. Um, I found that I thought that Mulberry was actually had the, you know, the, the it felt the best value. Um, but I was just happy to have a day out really, have some lunch, have some prawns and chips. I was good, I was happy, nice cup of tea. Anyway, I'll see you soon, bye.